Hello, yogis and dancers. Welcome back to another episode of Yoga for Dancers. My name is Roxy. If you've never been here before, so glad you could join on this beautiful journey of self-love and self-care. Um, today's class is going to be really powerful. I'm really excited to do it with you guys. Not only are we going to get really strong through our arms and cultivate upper body strength, which is something that has been super highly requested from dancers across the country as something they felt that was lacking in their training. Coming from a ballet background where, you know, these beautiful, like fluid, light arms are really beautiful, but you're not really cultivating strength. So if you're starting to get into things like partner work or floor work or more modern styles of dancing, it's really important to cultivate balance from our lower body strength to our upper body strength. And not only that, but the arms are an extension of our heart chakra, our center of compassion, of inner peace, love towards ourself and others, connection with others and having harmony with yourself and the world. So Anahata is a beautiful energy to connect with. And as we're moving through this practice, we're also gonna be focusing on just expanding that energy, expanding that through our entire aura, all the way out our fingertips and just surrounding ourselves with this energy of love and gratitude. Because, you know, I'm a believer that working out doesn't have to be this depleting experience. I used to come to the mat to work out with really unhealthy mindsets and reasons behind doing it. I would come, you know, thinking I'm going to work out because... I'm feeling bad about myself. I feel like I'm not fit enough. I need to get stronger. Like coming from all these like negative mantras that I was telling myself. But as soon as I switched my mindset from negativity towards myself, towards positivity and love, towards things like I'm getting stronger because of this, like I'm cultivating self-love by taking care of my body. Um, I'm grateful for my body and everything it can do. I'm grateful for my life. Like I love myself, all of those things like instantly are going to switch the whole energy through the practice and you're going to leave feeling just like glowing and radiating and more in tune and connected with yourself so and everything that we cultivate here on the mat is going to influence how we carry ourselves out in the world you know if we can cultivate a mindset of inner peace and love and gratitude while we're being faced with a physical challenge here on the mat you know, then when we face a, a challenge, whether it's physical or not, out in the real world, we're also going to be able to have that mindset of peace and compassion and wisdom and harmony. So, you know, this program isn't just a physical training program, but it is a whole shift of your mind, body, and spirit, bringing all of these things together to just be a healthier, happier, more peaceful, well-rounded dancer and human. So... All right, just a few alignment cues before we get started so that we can make sure that this, the workout is really going into our arms instead of in our neck, is to keep the neck really loose throughout practice, shoulders down, lots of space in the neck, and then keeping your scapula plugged down into your back, the bony tip of our shoulder blade here. You wanna keep that pressing down and really making a strong, firm connection with your ribs at all times. But as you do that, stay mindful that you don't flare your ribs out, but that you keep them knitted together and your core really engaged. So nice tall spine, and then moving in this way as we do things like push-ups instead of, <laughs> you know, like curving in or crunching into the neck here. So if you find that you start to get tired and you start to lose your alignment a little bit, just okay, just take a moment, back up out of it, um, relax, catch your breath, and then get back in when you're ready. And then the next time you come and do this video, I'm sure you'll be so much stronger and you'll be able to do the whole thing. So again, just cultivating that patience, that love towards yourself and your body today. All right, guys, grab some water and let's get started. everyone take a comfortable seat on your mat rooting down through your sits bones spine growing up tall finding length lots of space in your torso to take deep breaths 
Shoulders relaxing down away from the ears. We're just gonna take a few moments to center in. So we'll take the Anahata Chakra Mudra, which just looks like this. Sort of like this classic yogi mudra, but bringing your hands in and just placing it on top of your heart space. And you can just let your other hand rest gently on your knee, closing your eyes. Just beginning to tune into the breath. See how it's moving today, how everything's feeling. Just letting your entire body fill with gratitude for yourself and for the life that you live and for all the people in it and all the amazing experiences you've been able to have. Maybe even having a gentle smile on your face, just keeping your awareness on the mudra on top of your heart. Activating your ujjayi breath, which is where you just do a slight constriction at the back of the throat, breathing in and out of the nose so that your breath sounds like an ocean wave. Just let your mantra for today be, self-love is my priority. Self-love is my priority because we have to love ourselves first. We have to fill up our cup so that we can then pour onto others, so that we can share love and joy with other people we meet in the world. Releasing that mudra to place your palm on your heart and bringing your other palm to your belly, connecting in with these two power centers, the solar plexus and the heart. Inhaling, opening up your arms, arching the back slightly, just feeling this expansiveness, and then switching which hand is on your heart and which hand is on your belly, bringing it back in, making that connection. Inhale, open. Exhale, switching hands. Just opening, signaling to the universe that you are open to receive. Exhale, bringing everything in, grounding in. Open to receive all the abundance that the world has to offer. And open to giving back. Opening, closing. Just finding a super subtle cat cow with a little curve inwards as you come together, and a little arch as you open. Closing your eyes, let it be a moving meditation, moving with your breath. This time as you open up, as you come back in, you're gonna wrap your arms around yourself, giving yourself a big hug with your right arm on top of your left. Inhale, arching, drawing the elbows up. Let your head fall back. Exhale, contract, chin to chest. Inhale, open. Exhale, contract. Inhale, opening up and switching which arm is on top. So left is on top. Give yourself a big squeeze. And then inhale, elbows up. Exhale, contract. Inhale, opening up. Exhale, contract your core as you draw in. Beautiful. Now we're just gonna move side to side in a little groove here, just scooping your arms letting them become bigger and bigger. Just mather, imagine that you're gathering up everything you need to support you on your journey. Confidence, patience, self-love, courage, intuition, whatever it is that you're calling into your life through this practice. 
and scooping the right arm up and over to stretch towards the left, opening up that right side body, staying grounded through the right hip. And exhale, circling forward and rolling back up to the center, taking it again, scooping left. Feel the connection from your heart center out to the tips of your fingers. And then sweeping that left arm up and over, stretching now to the right. And then exhale, rolling through the center, coming back up. All right, taking a deep breath in, circling the arms up overhead and bringing the hands down in a lotus mudra. So lotus looks like this, your pinkies and your thumbs are together. And the lotus just signifies, you know, growing through hard times, growing through the mud, reaching towards the light and being able to keep our heart open and not become kind of hard and bitter towards the world, no matter what we experience, but to be able to stay compassionate and loving always. So we're just gonna warm up the wrists a little bit. We're gonna be doing this motion from lotus, circling around back of the palms. We're gonna be doing a lot of stuff on our hands and wrists, so we want them to be nice and warm. And take that up to the right diagonal, circle forward and down towards the floor. Circling back and up and down. Just imagine the flow of life, the give and take, opening up to receive the gifts of life and then offering them back to the world. What are your gifts that you offer? What do you bring to the table? How do you give? And then switching the other side, reaching up and rolling down. Beautiful, bring it back down through the center. Self-love is my priority. Beautiful, now coming forward onto your hands and knees and taking a child's pose with your knees really far apart and toes together, sinking back, reaching your arms forward. And then we're just gonna awaken the heart chakra, really start to energize our body, build a little heat. We're gonna swing and tap. Tap the heart, tap the heart. Let it be loose and then squeeze your glutes as you come up. Imagine you're just sweeping away any old stagnant energy that's not serving you and then connecting in with the heart. Let your hair go, whip your hair, let it feel good. Beautiful, coming back down. Breathing into the back of the heart space. Now we're gonna have, come up to a hover. So hovering above your child's pose. You sweep the arms forward, around. Unite the palms, touch the thumbs to the third eye. And then circling down and with a sharp exhale, we're gonna inhale, squeeze the glutes, press the hips forward. Careful not to hit your head on the floor on the way down. Again, just clearing out our entire auric field right now. Clearing out the old to make room for the new. With every exhale, let it go. Last one. Beautiful, now coming back up onto your hands and knees into your tabletop, planting your hands right below your shoulders, knees right under the hips and spread your fingertips wide. Really plugging your tips of your fingers into the ground to activate your whole hand so that we're getting activation all the way up through the forearm. Two, even up into the shoulder. Lifting up and out of the shoulder socket anytime we're in this position, so that we don't kind of get lazy and let all the weight sink into our wrists right here. You'll get really sore wrists after a while. So let's just take little hip circles, just shifting your weight around, testing the balance of your hands, 
seeing what muscles activate as you move around. And then make those hip circles way bigger. Inhaling left to come forward, exhaling right, shifting back towards child's pose. Inhale forward and exhale back. Inhale forward, exhale, circle back and switching directions. Inhaling right, opening up the heart, shining it forward as you come front and then relaxing back. Beautiful, and then sinking back to a child's pose again with your knees apart, toes together. Taking a moment to ground in, send your breath all the way down the entire length of your spine. Now that we are good and warmed up and energized, time to get in to the practice. So we're gonna start with some child's pose push-ups. Coming forward as you lower down, keeping your ribs by your side here. Long neck, shoulders down and back away from the ears. And press back. And two. Keeping your neck long and relaxed, pulling your core and ribs in. Four. Five, elbows in towards your side, plug in your fingertips, whole hand activation. Eight, two more. Nine. And beautiful, lowering down all the way to the floor. Coming into Sphinx Pose. So shining your heart forward, forearms parallel in front of you. Elbows right underneath the shoulders and then lifting up and out of the shoulders here. So no hanging out. Nice tall neck, shining the heart forward. Inhale. Exhale. All right, beautiful. We're gonna um, tuck the toes, lift the knees off the floor, pull the core in and pressing into the floor through the whole forearm, gonna lift the core off. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. And now this time, lift your hips all the way up for dolphin pose. You might have to walk your legs in a little bit. Dolphin is essentially down dog with your forearms on the floor. Inhale, lower. Exhale, pull your core in to lift up. And inhale, lower, shine the heart. Exhale, press up, pulling your core and ribs in. And lower. Exhale, press up. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Activate your shoulders. Keeping your neck relaxed. Got three more. Press up. Inhale, lower. Your core should be the first thing to pull up and in as you lift up. Last one. Beautiful. Now, bringing your arms, I'll come face you guys, bringing your arms out to your sides, even wider than your mat up on your fingertips here. So your hands are tended up. You're gonna roll in a wave here. Coming up on the right shoulder, left shoulder up, down with the right, down with the left. It's gonna be this kind of sexy, flowy, snaky push up. Getting a nice stretch through the shoulders. And then switching directions, down with the left, down with the right, up with the left, up with the right. Find this fluid motion. Strong fingers. Mm, feels so good, nice little stretch. All right, and then coming up into a cobra, just holding, stretching out the front of the body here. And then releasing back down. I'm gonna face the side again. So bringing your hands down by your side. 
we're gonna do some um, some locust lifts. So squeezing everything, lengthening the crown of the head up and away from the body. Squeezing, lifting up shoulders down the back, lengthen the neck, and exhale lower. Inhale, lifting up, squeeze, 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 activating the whole back of the body. Self-love, self-care is our priority here. Making ourselves stronger. Beautiful, getting those good movement habits in, keeping the shoulders down away from the ears. Inhale, exhale, lift. And lower. Exhale, lift. Beautiful, and lower, guys. We got one more, squeezing everything. Squeeze your toes together. Long neck lengthening up and away from the body. And lower, good job. Bending both knees now. Reach back for your feet. Press the feet into the hands to lift up for bow. Mm, shining the heart forward, opening up the front of the body. Again, lengthening your neck away, don't let it drop back. Lengthening up and away, squeeze your glutes, lift up a little higher. Beautiful, exhale, release. Pressing up and back to child's pose just for a moment. All right, from child's pose, we're gonna come forward into tabletop and lift the hips up and back for downward facing dog. Shake your head no. Loosen up through the neck and plug your fingertips in here. Make sure your hands are good and active. Inhaling, rippling forward, coming up onto the toes, coming forward into plank, pull your core in, nice strong plank. And then exhale, bend your knees, come into a hover just above the ground. Arms strong, shoulders down away from the ears and press up to downward dog. Moving with your breath in this ripple wave motion here. Inhale forward, exhale back, hands active, and back. And lift, making sure your core is active the whole time. Move nice and slow so that you can really be aware of what muscles are working. And if your shoulders are being drawn down the back, or if your neck is doing a lot of the holding. And last one. And lifting up, beautiful. Walking your feet in just a little bit. And turn your fingertips in to face each other. We're gonna do our bear push-up. So from here, make sure the neck is nice and relaxed. Ribs in, core pulled in and up. Gonna bend the elbows and press up. So, we got 10, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, ribs in, don't let them flare out. 3, 2, 1. Beautiful, release your hands back to a regular down dog. Now we're gonna inhale, sweep the left leg up to the sky. And as you exhale, coming forward into a plank, drawing the knee into the chest and bending the elbows for a little push up as you push the leg back. So take a rest for a moment. You don't have to go into a full push up. If you can, freaking go for it, cause that's awesome. But even just the act of Lowering, pulling the knee into the chest and making sure that the shoulders aren't scrunched up here at the neck but that they're down and away while under pressure is gonna build that good muscle memory. So we've got 10. One, two, three, Four, trying to keep your elbows drawing in as well. Five, halfway there. Six, seven, eight, we're so close. Nine, 10. Instead of press 
pressing back to downward dog, place that foot down, and open up into a nice strong warrior two here. So in warrior two, we've got energy shooting out the front leg, grounding down through the outer edge of our back foot, drawing our inner thighs together, lifting up and out of the pelvis, and extending the arms nice and strong. Take a few breaths here. Ooh, it's hard to talk to y'all while I'm doing push-ups, god damn. <laughs> All right, from here we're gonna reach forward, up and back for reverse warrior. Bending your left hand and your right arm coming into this kind of classic arm stretch. Behind the back as we reach back, bending deep into the front leg. This nice stretch through the left side body here. Exhale, coming forward into side angle. You can stay here reaching or wrap that arm behind you and take up a bind here, really sinking low into that front leg. Twisting open through the heart. Beautiful, releasing the hand, straightening the front leg to open up for triangle. And in triangle, staying mindful to keep lots of space in the side body here, reaching forward, not collapsing down like this. Core engage and breathe. Again, tune in to the purpose and mantra of this practice. How are you feeling about yourself? Are you feeling, even if you're struggling, just know that you're badass anyways. Breathing in and out through the nose, calming the breath. Beautiful, we're gonna bend through that front knee again, coming back up into warrior two. In, so making a fist with your hands behind your back and pulling down, opening up through the heart. And then staying mindful as we bend forward to not let your hips just totally go back. Try to keep them right under you. Melting forward through the torso and letting those hands fall forward. Getting a nice stretch through the shoulders, staying really active through the quads and the glutes. Shake your head no, release any tension there. Beautiful, coming back up, opening up into warrior two and cartwheel your hands back to the floor. Stepping that left leg up and back for a three-legged dog. From here, we're gonna inhale, coming down onto our right knee. Find a really good flat back here, so I don't want any of this, no sinking down. Strong core pulled in, squaring off your hips so that your glutes and your core are really active here. I don't wanna say tuck your pelvis, but find a nice, straight, neutral pelvis, just like your back would be nice and straight if you had some really good posture while standing. So walking your hands a little forward and scoot back. All right, we've got eight three-legged push-ups. So coming down and up. Squeeze your glutes, find that flat back, activating your low belly core here. Three, four, good shoulder alignment, scapula. Making contact with the ribs. Six, seven, eight. Beautiful, bending that leg, reaching up and back for the foot, and stretching up, opening the front of the body. Staying mindful to not sink into that left shoulder, but staying lifted up out of it, pressing into the floor to lift away. Beautiful, release the foot, walk your hands out. Melt your heart and third eye to the ground for puppy pose. <sighs> Connecting with the floor, feeling the support of the earth. Staying present in this moment. You've dedicated this time to be with yourself and your body, making yourself love a priority. Slowing down the breath, bringing in fresh oxygen to your muscles. Prana to fuel yourself. Be 
beautiful sinking your hips back all the way to your heels and then rolling up one vertebra at a time come to a nice tall seated position so yeah when we're doing those push-ups here's a perfect opportunity to really ground down with the shoulders long neck making sure that your scapula is pressing into your ribs here not winging out core and ribs pulled in yes yeah, so that's what we're going for with those all right well you guys know it's got to come now now do the other side <laughs> coming forward come into a downward facing dog Ooh, shake your head no plug in through your fingertips whole hand active lengthen the neck shoulders away from the ears and even in downward facing dog stay mindful to not lock into your elbows have a little tiny micro bend here too for my hypermobile dancers inhale sweeping the right leg up to the sky exhale coming forward to that plank draw the knee into the chest bend the elbows and lift for two and three Core pulling in, shoulders down. Five, six, oh, beetle. <laughs> There's a beetle on my mat. <laughs> Seven, eight, nine. Hug those elbows in towards your body. And stepping that foot down, opening up into a nice strong warrior two, sinking low into that knee, making sure it's right over your ankle, grounding down through the back leg, extend your arms, relaxing the shoulders away from the ears, deep breaths. All right, we're gonna reach forward, up and back, taking that bind with the right arm up and reaching back. Squeezing your glutes. Beautiful, exhale, release. Coming into side angle with your arm reaching towards the front or taking that bind, spiraling open through the collarbones, neck reaching away from the body. Finding that ujjayi breath in and out through the nose. Beautiful, inhale and coming back up, interlacing your hands now behind you, drawing down, opening up the front of the body, keeping your hips right under you, melt the torso forward, letting those arms sink down. Stretching through the shoulders, shake the head no. releasing the arms coming back up to warrior two and cartwheeling the hands down stepping back into a three-legged dog and exhale lowering the left knee down find your alignment here no sagging backs pulling everything up and in making sure your glutes are really active here is a booty burn and an arm work too so bring your hands slightly forward think about that alignment shoulders down and back neck long we've got eight two four core pulling in flat back six seven Beautiful release down, coming again into puppy pose. Just breathing deeply, connecting your third eye to the ground, bringing your awareness to your heart and to your third eye, just catching your breath, letting your breath move all the way down your spine, even into your low back. Can you breathe into your kidneys? Beautiful, coming back up onto your hands and knees and pressing back to downward facing dog. I'm gonna bend our knees, look forward towards our hands, step or hop into a forward fold at the top of the mat. 
walking your feet out wide so that your toes are just off and your heels are on. We're gonna bend the knees and sink the hips low. Coming into our yogi squat, Malasana. Kind of turn this way so you guys can see me using your knees to, or your elbows to press your knees apart. Lengthening up through the spine, squeezing your glutes just a little bit, shoulders down and back. And then here you can stay in Malasana if this is feeling really nice on your hips, or if you wanna play around with a little arm balance, we're gonna move into crow from here. So crow, you're gonna come up onto your toes, bring your hands forward, planting them in front of you. Bring your knees kind of right into your armpit here so that your shin can rest on your upper arms, and then shift your weight forward. This is a lot more about where you put your weight and how you balance it than just having pure like arm strength, which is important, but it's more about the weight and pulling your core in as well. So finding your balance and then maybe just lift off one toe and then the other, pulling your core in. Just playing around with that. Slowly lowering down. Bring your booty all the way to the floor and roll onto your back. Coming into a happy baby pose, holding onto the outer edges of your feet, letting your knees open. Just take a little rock side to side, relaxing your shoulders, giving your low back a little massage here. Let it feel good. Beautiful, all right, hugging your knees in and give yourself a little squeeze, sense a new wave of self-love and gratitude through your whole body. We're gonna roll back and then coming up, placing our hands behind us. Just a few uh, last arm exercises. So I'm gonna press the hips up, squeezing the glutes, bringing the core in, and we're gonna press down and up and really squeeze the muscles of your arm when you reach the top, squeeze your glutes, find that moment of tension at the top, lower down, press up. And four, we've got 12, five, squeeze, six, booty up, seven, eight, nine, not bringing your butt all the way to the floor, just to hover an inch above the ground. 10, 11, 12. Now hold, squeeze your arms, just gonna straighten your legs out in front of you. Squeeze your hips up even a little more and just let your head hang back for a moment, opening up your heart, staying lifted up now to the shoulders. And exhale, slowly lowering back down. Good job, guys. So from here, we're just gonna do some stretching and play around with some fun little arm balances. So just rolling your shoulders a couple times. Shake it out. Ooh, give a little shimmy. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go into compass pose, which is one of my favorites. Bringing that left leg in towards your body. You're gonna reach for the outer edge of your right foot with your left hand. Bringing that leg kind of up and over the shoulder. Here, kind of get that knee, your knee armpit on your shoulder as much as you can. Bring that right arm out to the side. Run tall through the spine and then straightening that leg as much as you can and looking under the left arm here. This pose is great, gives all of our digestive organs a little uh, internal massage. <sighs> Stretches and opens this whole side of the body. Get a nice leg stretch. <sighs> Beautiful, releasing that, keeping that leg above the shoulder as much as you can. You're gonna bring it up and then hook that other leg on top, really flexing your toes and your feet so that they can hook together. So if you try to pull them apart, they're kind of locked in there. And then bringing your hands forward, kind of at shoulder distance apart, spread your fingers, plug in those fingertips. You're gonna come forward and lift off. So first, just find your balance hanging out here. And if that's as far as you can go today, that's totally fine. If you wanna go more, you're gonna extend those legs out, bend those 
those arms like you're holding a push-up. And just float here, breathe. Only hold the pose as much as you can. Also keep your breath steady. And then releasing that, so it's just a fun one to play with. Oh, taking the other side now. Bringing that right leg in, reaching for the outer edge of that left foot with the right hand. And opening up, looking under that right arm. Finding your breath here. Maybe just thinking about a couple things that you're grateful for about yourself. For your motivation and willingness to challenge yourself, to try new things. Your dedication to yourself and your well-being. The way that you love and treat others with kindness, the way you inspire people with your artistry. All right, now hooking that leg right above the shoulder. Get that other leg up there, flex the feet, make sure they're really sturdy together. Then bring your arms forward, shoulder length apart, press up. So if you wanna just practice holding here and practice your breathing, and once you get that where you can hold it for a while and still breathe steadily, then work on extending those legs out and bending down. Beautiful, good job, all right. Oh, we've made it, so now we're just gonna wind down here. Let your shoulders relax down. And bringing your hands to your heart center, feel that energy flowing, all of that heat that we just built in the body. Just centering in with the heart, sending all that love to yourself. Letting the head drop to the left side, bringing that left arm to the side of the face, just letting the weight of your hand and gravity do the work to stretch you out here. Then with the other hand, reaching it towards the floor, reach, reach, reach those fingers out. Reaching away, 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 and then bringing the palm to face the front. And then from there, flexing the hand, bring the fingers to point back behind you. You get a really nice opening through the front of the hand and the arms there. As you exhale, bring that right hand to the left knee to take a twist. Returning back to the center, bring that other hand to the other knee so your arms are crossed and just turn inwards, bringing your chin to your chest and breathing into that space behind the heart, behind your shoulder blades. And release that rolling back up. Let your head fall over to the other side now. Reaching that left arm away from the body at a diagonal, reaching. And then turning the palm to face the front to then flex the hand back, stretching the fingers behind you. As you exhale, coming into the twist, bringing the left hand to the right knee. back to the center, cross that right arm over and again, curve inwards, pulling your belly in, pulling your chin down, breathing into the back of the heart. Beautiful, bringing the soles of your feet together. Maybe give your calves a little massage if that feels good for a moment, letting your hips relax, letting the knees fall open, and then melting down over your feet. Inhaling, coming. 
coming back up and just making your way down to the floor, taking a little Shavasana, hugging your knees in towards your chest to rock side to side. Letting the knees fall over to the left for a gentle twist. Letting the arms open up, relaxing the shoulders down. With every exhale, see where you can soften, where you can release tension, especially any in your arms and shoulders. Coming back to the center and then letting the knees fall to the other side. Returning back to the center and just extending the legs out, bringing again one hand to the heart and one hand to the belly, connecting in, closing your eyes, letting everything soften, bringing your awareness to where your hands are making contact with the body, feel the warmth of your palms. And then bring your awareness to the soles of your feet. So to the palms of your hands and to the soles of your feet. And just breathing and seeing if you can soften from your ankles and wrists up to your knees and elbows, to your hips and shoulders. And then finally relaxing in the chest and the belly, relaxing the jaw and the brow. Enjoying the stillness, maybe even feeling your own heartbeat. Your heart that beats every moment of every day for you without you even having to think about it. What a gift. This heart that allows us to connect with others, to share life with other beings, to share the joys, to share the pain to understand each other, to feel empathy. you to stay here for just a few more minutes because the resting process the shavasana is where all of the hard work we just did is able to integrate into the body it's during the rest that our body can build up the new muscle fibers after gaining strength of the practice it is in the rest that the mindsets that we cultivate can settle into every cell of our being. So that as we move forward with the day, we can do so from a place of loving kindness towards ourselves and others. Feeling the gentle rise and fall of your hand as it rests on your belly. Feeling your breath moving your belly. With your next inhale, let it be deep and full. 
Beginning to deepen your breath. Finding a little movement that feels good for you, maybe circling the hands and wrists or taking a stretch overhead like you're just waking up from a long and peaceful sleep. And then rolling over to one side, taking your time to slowly make your way up to a comfortable seated position. Grounding down through your sits bones, growing up tall through the spine. Relaxing the shoulders, feeling the heart energy radiating out. We'll take one last breath together, inhaling, sweeping the arms up, uniting the palms and drawing the thumbs down to the third eye. May we see clearly and trust our intuition. Drawing the thumbs to the lips so that we may speak words of kindness and truth. And finally, drawing the hands to the heart. May we act with love and compassion towards ourself and others. Namaste. Good work today, everyone. I hope you all have a beautiful rest of your day. Hope you feel the love. See you guys next time.